I went for a stroll on the Hong Kong Island waterfront yesterday. I started at Fortress Hill and walked to Admiralty, and this is what I saw. From Fortress Hill to Causeway Bay, there was an Easter celebration. You can see these young roller dancers wearing Easter bonnets. They were pretty impressive. There are also clowns entertaining passing children. Further on, there were live singers. get a great mix of Western and Chinese pop in Hong Kong. It wasn't all about pretty young things though, there were older residents performing too. There are always loads of stalls on the Hong Kong waterfront, so uh, civil society, there are so many societies and associations here. While families usually dominate the uh, waterfront, there were lots of teenagers present yesterday too, drawn by the sports and the music. And here is Hong Kong Harbour. I was really impressed by the swimmers. And even more so when I realised that many of them were children. They'd signed up for a triathlon. Hong Kong youngsters have a reputation for being nerdy, so it's quite good to see them doing sports. There are busloads of tourists from mainland China. Numbers are increasing every day, which is great for Hong Kong businesses. And quite a few Westerners were present too. And of course there were cross-cultural events. There was a ukulele show and Hawaiian dancing. For a brand new step, you can try and catch two two walking in the taro catch. All right, so once again, welcome back to our students. The Hong Kong waterfront is an amazing place. There are a surprising number of exotic birds there. Earlier, I saw wedding photography taking place. There's a beautiful bride. And of course, as the sun goes down, it's the perfect place for meditation. Now, I know that every Western media outlet is reporting that Hong Kong is dead and everyone's left and no one is allowed to say anything at any time, etc. But as you can see, reality is very different. We can all help to get the truth out there. The media is big, but the people are bigger. Peace.